guys, welcome back once again. It is me, Mota, and as you can see, we've got a new Town Hall 8 base of time because we've got to replace that shield one. It is not holding up too well for us. Um, let's go ahead and jump into this thing. So this is going to be another farming base, guys, because I want to protect my loot because I want to upgrade stuff, okay? So we're going to start off with my favorite defense, the Wizards. We're going to bring in that one Wizard Tower right there. We're going to bring in a Wizard Tower right here as well, and then we're going to bring in another Wizard Tower right here there and they are going to do their job of protecting our loot for us all right next i'm going to bring in this dark elixir storage right here we're going to bring in an elixir storage and a gold storage right there and then we're going to protect more gold and we are going to uh protect even more gold right here all right so all of our gold which is my favorite resource is going to now be protected even more let's go ahead and bring in um, this mortar right here, and again, guys, I'm using ClashOfClansBuilder.com. I designed all of my bases on there, uh, so it's up over here on the right side. Some some random person commented one time, Molt's, Molt's stealing that. He's looking at another picture, and he's stealing the design. No, obviously, I wouldn't build a base in the game without using an outsource builder. Um, it's just a lot easier. So we're just going to keep on bringing all of our stuff in here, guys. Um, that's all the resources, so the resources are protected pretty well right now. Um, let's go ahead and bring in the rest of our mortars as well. So we're going to bring these in. We're going to bring this one in. And we're going to bring this one in. And guys, with the new Archer Tower update that's coming out, these mortars need to be protected because they're going to do splash damage to the attackers and then the Archer Towers are going to finish them off real, real quick. So um, that is why we are super excited about protecting the mortars and the Archer Tower. So these Archer Towers are um, <clears throat> in good spots for that. They're going to do a great job of protecting all of that for us. Um, we're going to throw in another Archer Tower right here, bring in this Air Defense, and then just bring in a Gold Mine as kind of a barrier for that Air Defense. And we're going to do the same thing right over here. Um, again, just protecting the Air Defense uh, with the Gold Mine. Um, just making little barriers and whatnot like that. We're going to go ahead and bring in these Cannons right here uh, in this little corner. And again, uh, it's always good to use uh, other buildings to protect other buildings. Um, so like I'm using the gold mine and the elixir storage uh, to protect the cannons and whatnot. So always think about that when you're designing <coughs> your bases as well. Um, let's go ahead and wow, that's really close to that. Uh, that's really close to that Halloween headstone. I've been really stressed if I had to get rid of that. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and bring in this cannon right here. And once again, we're going to be protecting that mortar with that gold mine. Uh, do the same thing right here and then cannon right there. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in our Teslas that we have. We're going to put one right in here and one right in here. And then we're going to bring in a giant bomb right here, a skeleton trap, a little bomb. And then we're going to bring in our other Tesla right here as well. So anybody that comes in there is going to get wrecked. And anytime giants or anything like that come over here, they're just going to head straight in there because um, it's an open defense. It's not a wall blocking it or anything. And they're going to head straight towards that other Tesla and get wrecked. So that is why that is just like that. Um, and then up here at the top, we're going to do the exact same thing once again. But now we have two giant bombs up here and uh, the skeleton trap and whatnot. So giants, if a giant goes through there to get to... That Tesla, he's going to be done for. <laughs> like, completely annihilated. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in the rest of our defenses. So, Archer Tower right here. Um, air Defense right there. And then the Clan Castle. And other Archer Tower right here. And let's go ahead and bring in our last cannon up here at the top. We're going to go ahead and put our Barb King over here on the side. And then we are going to bring in our Dark Elixir Drill right here. And then these little compartments up here, again, are just for protective purposes, guys. They will um, protect the Archer Towers. They will also protect um, anyone from getting into uh, this double wall little barrier right here. So that's why that's built on right there. And then we're going to bring this up here. One more and one more. And now all that we need to do, I believe, it's full. No, we need to bring in our spring trap. So... This base is going to be great for spring traps. You can see I put them in between defenses because uh, giants go from defense to defense. So anytime you're building a base, guys, definitely make sure that you put your spring traps in between stuff like that um, because, <laughs> oh gosh, that was loud, because specific things like that always uh, work really, really well when it comes to flinging off hog riders or giants or anything like that. 
Um, let's go ahead and let's see here. We can, where do these other two go? We have another little wall gap right here and another little wall gap right there. And then now we're going to bring in one and two, one and two. My iPad is really hot, guys. I've been on it for a while now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we'll just put our town hall up here to uh, encourage people to attack from the top. And let's go ahead and put, where did I have those? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. This one is going over here as well. So that's going to draw people in. And then uh, they're going ahead in there towards that Tesla, which is exactly what we want. Uh, we can go ahead and put some of our uh, air mines in here. We'll put one right in here. One right in here. Let's go ahead and actually let's get rid of these bombs and throw. Um, not get rid of them entirely, guys. Don't worry. Uh, we're gonna put those air defenses in there and throw this one right in here. And let's put these last two uh, like around here. That was interesting how the screen just moved. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and just bring let's just let's just crush anybody that tries to get into this point right here with all of these bombs We'll go ahead and throw no we won't fit Bring this right in there. There we go And now we're just gonna build all the way around the outside as usual guys and uh, it looks like most of our uh, resources actually are already uh, protected throughout the base within the walls so we're not gonna have too much on the outside when it comes to buildings and whatnot so that's pretty good. Excited about that. Normally, uh, I'll just have all that around the outside. So now this is going to be hard for people to barge and get 50% on because the majority of the stuff is on the inside and it is close to the walls. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and bring this flag right up here. Decorations, man. They're freaking hilarious. <laughs> they're so annoying sometimes. Uh, put these flowers right here and that flower right there. And that's it, guys. We're going to save that village. Okie dokie. And um, I'll definitely be informing you guys on how it does in the future in more uh, Let's Clash episodes and things of that sort. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? See you guys later. Peace.